Virgo, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be from May 20th all the way to May 26th. <laughs> that card's going to stay out. Ooh, two cards are going to stay out. So welcome, Virgo, if you're new to the channel. Hey, I'm Jeff Smith. I am your tarot reader, guidance giver, and 24 karat advice coming from the higher realms, channeling through you through your zodiac sign. And we've got a lot of things going on this week, Virgo. The 20th, the sun is moving into Gemini. So we're moving into air energy. So it's a lot of communication. Things are going to be moving, traveling, all of that. Speaking of moving and traveling, we have on the 23rd, a lot of things going on. We have Venus making all these beautiful, harmonious aspects. So it's a feel-good energy. And then Venus is also moving into Gemini. So love is going to be very expressive. All right. And then we have a full moon on that same day on the 23rd. That's a Thursday, I believe. And it's in Sagittarius, a fire sign. And it's happening in your collective fourth house. So that gives an energy of you wanting to get some things done at home, getting the garden done, because, you know, if you Virgos, you're, you're great with the green thumb action. You know what I mean? And this is a great time for you to do that. Get outside. You know, it's an air sign, fire sign. Do things. Do a lot of beautiful things. Beautify your home. Declutter. Marie Kondo that shit. You know what I mean? Throw shit out. It's also a work-home balance because if we're talking about the fourth house, we're looking at the opposite of the 10th. So that could be a balance between work and home, finding that sweet spot, okay? So we already got two cards out. Let's see what else we've got going on. And then Jupiter's moving into Gemini in the 25th. I forgot to tell you that. So, I mean, we've got all this energy that's finally moving forward. It's not, you know, in the Taurus energy, even though it was grounding for you. This, you know, some of you Virgos may go a little manic too, <laughs> you know, anything goes. It all depends on what you bring into your focus. You're a magnet. So you attract that energy. All right, Virgo. Let's see what we got for you. Beautifuls. Beautifuls. Hmm. Hmm. I got so much in the good pile. I don't know what to. Hmm. Um, yeah, there it is. Boom, 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 boom. All right. I got it. Right? Is that? No, that's way. Okay. Thank you, spirit. See, sometimes it takes a little while, <laughs> but we got it. You know, it, it just, it's got to feel right. So here it is, Virgo. We've got what we need to work on, what we need to focus on. We've got that full moon. It's an excellent time to release. And we've got the tower and the hermit. So the tower is, of course, things looking like it's chaos and things coming down. But what you want to look at is get a different perspective with the hermit is that I so much has happened that I just need to go back within. I need to do some proverbial house cleaning internally. You know, and you could also do that expressively in your outward environment. Um, so this is a good time to kind of lay low. Taurus also has that too. Taurus has to uh, kind of do some processing around this, this full moon. And then what we need to embrace is trusting your intuition. The answers that you need are within. And that's the big message here that bridges this energy that really changes towards the end of the week. More so for the rest of the rest of the month into June. So trust your intuition. Allow the universe to guide you. The only thing you need to embrace is focusing on success. It could also be an engagement, something like that. I don't know why I had to say that, but I'm saying it to you. Then we have a new beginning. There's a risk that needs to be involved. Maybe that's what you're worried about, you know, taking this risk. But I'm going to tell you something, Virgo. It's going to work out. We've got the lovers and the three of cups. Now, when we get to the love portion, we're going to talk more about this. But this is definitely, if you're looking for a new job, all you got to do is trust your intuition where you're being led and take that risk. And a partnership, things will finally start to work 
better in a group of people, like family is going to be important also. So if you're worried about that, all you got to do is focus on success. There's going to be a lot of attention on you and maybe you're not used to that. You know, Virgo sometimes like to be the wallflower, not this week. All right. And it's okay. So build your confidence, trust your intuition because there's harmony here in all things, leveling up because you're taking a different approach. And I think it's time. I think it'll make you feel more secure. I think you'll be more communicative. I think it will work out for you. It, it, it definitely will if you believe it will and you take action to do that. That action is the full, that reset, that you got to look at it differently. Don't be foolish. Don't do things the way you did it before. Take a new approach. Focus on success. Maybe you were worried about not being successful and well, there it is. Wow, interesting. Did that card flip over or not? What happened here? What happened? Oh, yeah, it did flip out. Okay. Interesting. Again, pay attention to the signs here, guys. Use your inner wisdom. Trust your intuition this week on these matters. Okay? Let's release ourselves from discontent and boredom. You know, you're spending the time... Focusing on something from the past. Maybe that's what you need to let go. Maybe it's still fresh in your mind. You know what I mean? Pay attention to 666. That's balance. So focus and balance. Trust. Trust. Uh, the wisdom card and the intuition card. Five and two. Six, seven. This is a spiritual lesson that you need to embrace. This will help you let go. And then love begins. So definitely there's a call for some of you Virgos. For a new relationship and also a time to fill your cup. You're always giving. Now it's time to fill yours. Okay? But it's a new beginning in love. There ain't no doubt about that. Ain't no doubt about it. Ugh, and I'm going to have that song stuck in my head. Ugh. Ugh. Why did everybody think that was such a great song in the 70s? By the dashboard lights. You know, here I am, a little kid in the back of a fucking Impala, you know? <laughs> and, and you know, the parents, you know, they, they didn't know, you know? They didn't know it was how offensive it was, you know? I found Paradise by the Dashboard Lights, and I'm really trying to figure out what the hell that was. And I think my parents used to talk about watching the submarine races. I mean, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Hello, childhood trauma. You know, it's like, Jesus. All right, listen, listen, choose your battles. Again, that seven, choose your battles. Trust your intuition here, okay? You're manifesting. And all you need to do is, and the four, that's happening, the full moon's happening in your fourth house. This is a good indication of manifestability in your life and all your relationships, if you want harmony in your relationships, then act as if there is harmony in your relationships. That doesn't mean you discount them. That means that this too shall pass. All right? Meatloaf. Ugh. That mofo sweated on stage like a motherfucker. He sweated on stage. I don't know why I'm stuck on this. Maybe some of you like that song. Maybe you need to pay attention. I don't know. The spirit's having that horrible song go through my head. But that motherfucker like sweated on stage like every night and he didn't lose a pound. With his tuxedo shirt all open. It's just a disaster. Jesus. All right. Love. Communication coming in with all that Gemini energy. Yes, sir. You are not stuck. Oop. Let it go. Let the past go. There's a past relationship you got to let go. Queen of Wands, fire energy. Open up. This is Sagittarius card, actually. I don't know. Full moon. You might meet somebody. You've been manifesting this. Take that risk. If somebody asks you to go out, go out. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. All right, let's get some messages of love. Um, you could also be um, stressing out about somebody in your friend group. You could meet somebody in your friend group, okay? Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision, and that's what's got you shook. And it's not 
the way it is. Just be successful. Because there's either someone else moving in that does have that reciprocating energy, or eventually it, it all works out. But it takes communication, you know? Maybe you, you're not sharing your vision, and therefore they're different visions. But the universe is saying, go slow. Take time to get to know each other. There, no, there is no need to rush here. I think a lot of you already know each other. And let's just not go from friend zone to banging zone. Let's get and let's take this approach. You know what I mean? Lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Trust your intuition. Don't be stuck. It's, it's really just coming down to feeling secure and stable. If the relationship doesn't feel like it's going to be stable for you, you have the option to opt out. And you will be rewarded for it. You know, you're just not turning down offers. You're learning a lesson here. The lesson is probably to let go. All right, let's get a closing message for you. Ooh, whoa, wow, that one did. That did a crazy flip. Virgo, it's time. Wow, look at the glow on that card. Hmm. Virgo, you're being asked to move forward toward the dream that you've been carrying in your heart. Yes. It's time to bring it out into the world. You're ready. It's time. Manifest. I think a lot of you are manifesting relationships, new homes, jobs, leveling up like a motherfucker. You just need to let go of this past relationship. For some reason, someone you're hung up on is stalling your energy for this new beginning in love too. All right, Virgo, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I claim it in the comments, and I will see you next week.